Good morning. Welcome to Cafe Helen. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make the chocolate truffle, which is I did the video before, but something wrong. So I'm sorry I don't sh uh, show you the the beginning of the process. But what I have here is the dark chocolate. I slice it, but the best knife to slice with the hard chocolate is um, knife shredded because when you cut it it's so much easy you don't need a pressure too much and here I have this 450 grams of dark chocolate and a cap of 35% cream I bring it to simmer the cream which is hot enough and then I pour it into the chunk chocolate and then I keep mixing until reach to the creamy texture. This is a chocolate truffle that I ma I'm gonna make. From uh, the beginning, uh, you have to whip together and let it creamy. And then after that, you can add flavor what you want, either vanilla all kinds of liquors what flavor you want or just a plain so that's your choice and today i'm gonna because this is for us and i'm gonna use this uh, black cherry flavored uh, liquor so i'm gonna put liquor in this because there's no kids to eat this so i'm gonna put the alcohol which is 35 percent of alcohol guys so I'm gonna put two tablespoons of this, which is good mixtures of alcohol. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons. Any kinds of liquors you want, it's up to you. Or just vanilla, or just leave it the way it is. Because for the to finish it up, either you. Uh, dip it into uh, melted chocolate which is I gonna prepare now or you do you dust it into a cocoa powder but now before we do that I have to mix it very well before I chill it into the freezer so this is it I don't need to transfer the the bowl just to have more dishes to wash leave it the way it is and then I have this uh, spatula and then guys just the smell of it oh my god like oh but this is the very good truffles I gonna make uh, last week I make 400 truffles but it's just vanilla flavor because um, I cannot put really alcohol because it's for uh, for the client that they ask for it so I just put the vanilla uh, the regular one vanilla so this one guys I don't uh, I don't really waste anything you can you can do how you want how you you touch your own material as long as there's no mouth contamination contamination okay so this is it and i gonna if you wish i can wipe it out just to excess of the chocolate but don't be fussy about it just leave it the way it is and you cover it into a saran wrap to the fridge the reason I do this is there is no moist to come into the chocolate and then you can tap it down just no airy just like this and into the fridge now well that's uh, on uh, chilling I'm gonna show you how to make the deep chocolate so now 
uh, I'm just cutting the chocolate uh, block and chop it and you just dump it there I don't measure this one because this one is only for dipping so you can have as much as chocolate uh, chop you want or you know the texture or the amount the quantity doesn't really matter name it as you wish and this is it and I'm gonna bring this to the tempered before well the the chocolate uh, truffle on sale so I'm gonna bring this to uh, melt the way how to make this I will show it to you how okay here I am I simmer this into a hot water just like this and you can mix it to melt the chocolate by the time this is ready the kitchen is a good it's a it's a good temperature to do this it's not hot it's not because I don't have oven up on today so the kitchen is not hot so there we go this is ready for my truffle dipping really a good but this one never put anything not even a drop of water in this this is a pure chocolate that you have to use for dipping because once you there is any liquid of this one it's you breaking out the chocolate compress of this and what's gonna happen is doesn't uh, uh, when you dip it is not a glazy uh, uh, finish and just look like a crack uh, things and it doesn't seal very well so this is it and in the meantime that's the one ready and I gonna do the preparing chocolate cocoa powder okay so I gonna prepare this for my truffles okay so uh, well the water is still hot I gonna put this uh, bowl and put a white chocolate for my decoration for the garnish so you have an option you don't have to do this this is just an extra touch for my chocolate truffle and I just put a few because I can uh, use that only for, for garnish not like the dipping chocolate that you need a lot so this is it like this and this one is the cocoa powder that I gonna use this for dip into you don't have to need a too much of this just enough uh, of chocolate that you can use to dip okay so they are all ready and this one will they are melting for just decoration so I'm not crazy about that one now just gonna put that aside I'll forget about it because it's not necessary for now and for this uh, white chocolate garnish I'm gonna prepare a spoon made from this one so either you fold it from the end to this one just like this or you can make a triangle as you wish but because of these uh, things I'm doing is have a pointy spoon with parsnip spoon so the way they do is just to turn like this and finish with the other end and then there we go you, can, you have it, the spoon 
which is very very tiny so just put that way here there we go and to lock it either use cut chip if you are not comfortable or you just pinch this way and that way that's it and this way okay so that's a secure for you to put this together into the scone and ready for the decoration so I will continue okay guys as you can see I don't everything is my, for my truffles are ready so I'm prepared already for my dipping chocolate the cocoa powder and the white chocolate that is already melted you see so but I'll keep it that way it's okay well my truffles is in chilling so I have the balls uh, melon baller and the fork and the spoon and this is my special tools for dipping the chocolate to have a, a, a final uh, finish but if you don't have this one you use this but I will show you to you the different of the tools I have it here so this is all ready so because I'm not editing of my video, I'm, I'm gonna show you what exactly I'm doing in the kitchen while I'm waiting for the other's uh, truffle to, to be uh, in a good chill. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, li lychee plan, which is, uh, what how you call it? Um, chocolate, I mean, sorry, a uh, plan okay so I, I first first thing first is I gonna put uh, one cup and a half sugar to, to to bring this to caramelize like a like a syrup okay well it's doing caramelize I have in here is 12 egg yolk and plus two whole eggs so you can mix this if you don't have uh, okay so I have this wish Mix it and a, a teaspoon of vanilla. You can use a dark vanilla or white vanilla, but this is what I have in my kitchen the white vanilla and a whole evaporated milk. Any kind of brand, don't, don't bother about it. There's no quality or texture, they are all the same, trust me. It's just how to make the taste that you prepare. So just keep it going. And I have this condensed milk. As I said, no need or branded that you really have to use. So. Be, be secured of any sharp edge so this is my where my lychee plan it's plan that's what the, I'm doing see back to I make this caramelized Hot. 
too sure if I have enough, but I'm doing in hurry well I gonna chill this into the water to let it cool to help cold faster because I have to do the truffle very soon so this is just to help now it's not too hot so it's ready yes same thing as this yeah do you see just to put into a bin of water okay so this is it now well I'm not ready for this um, I'm gonna use this water so guys I already mix it very well this one but because it's sitting for a little bit a while I'm gonna remix it okay and I'm gonna strain it to do this either you steam it over boiling water or bake it with water in the oven for 400 Fahrenheit uh, it depends on the thickness you have but for me it's my maximum here is half an hour 45 minutes of half an hour just not overcooked so there we go one go into the bin and my oven is on because i want to put this in the oven because i don't have time to watch my stuff so sorry so i'm done with this and this is ready to the oven for 45 minutes to half an hour. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye for now. You're cooking. So now, it's ready. Look at this. Okay. So, as you can see there is no any liquid or moist 
so I gonna I gonna do this if you don't want this you can always have spoon you do it in the spoon and you don't have to have a gloves if you want and just like this okay sizes as you wish so now I just don't want to continue right now because uh, I'm just kind of busy for something wow it's a really good smell I want to show it to you for this amount of chocolate oh sorry okay this one is look like a natural texture i'm gonna leave this one because it's beautiful but for this uh, chocolate powder you just roll it as you can see it's very easy right so just dump it like this and there will go voila you have a truffle dip into a chocolate powder or cocoa how you gonna call it there we go okay and for this one because I wanna decorate it into a, a white chocolate that I wanted to show you so my chocolate is a bit thicker but it's okay because I just want to show you how to make Yes, I have this tool and you pick it up as it is just remove the excess chocolate so it doesn't have a very thick one I will do it another one just dump it there <laughs> me I'm very <laughs> particular that I don't want to have anything in my hand Oh my god, I cannot work with the Missy or I don't lick either, so no. There we go. I have this chocolate dip into chocolate, pure chocolate. So I will just show to you guys what the different you see here. I have three different kind dip into chocolate cocoa and then the natural you see the different the texture of this chocolate this is darker this is lighter because i'm using uh, the same and they don't have any flavor or whatsoever so for that i have this white chocolate milk as you can as you see earlier for you not to confidence by holding it i'll show you the different just put it into a shallow bowl or or a, or a glass and just pour it the chocolate into the parchment cone and me I have a tons you know the small spatula is so is so handy to use as you can see I have that oh, I make a mess so sorry and for that to fold as you can see it's already leaking but it's okay fold it uh, as you wish and then turn the to sell the paper in the other way opposite way 
So here, as you can see, see the chocolate already sitting. It means like already about to dry. And you just dump it the uh, decoration as you wish. And me, I like uh, of other kind, other way. Voila! This is it guys. If you want this to decorate for something, I want to show you a different way. And uh, hold on this. Or this one, you can dip it into a roll it into a nuts. Any kinds of nuts like pecan, pistachio, uh, peanut whatever but for me I make this uh, orange candy and because I put the liquor there and I don't want to dip it into it's just for you to have a different texture of uh, flavoring and just put a chunk of orange this is uh, my orange peel I mean, not orange peel, sorry, orange uh, candy that I make uh, earlier. So, see, I just need uh, to have the touch of that. You can do all kinds of uh, design, all kinds of texture, all kinds of flavor that you can see. But remember, the chocolate dip never, never put any liquid whatsoever has to be the pure one to be able to have a good seal like you can see here it's too shiny it's a good texture okay thanks for watching and please uh, don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs up like it comments or subscribe whatever you feel okay so if you appreciate what I'm doing it's a natural what I what's happening in my kitchen cafe Helen and I'm pleased to share to you my technique without editing anything how I do exactly in my kitchen. This is it. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.